Hi guys, so welcome back to Baking with Amari. I don't think we've had a baking session yet, but our first one, um, I'm going to be making um, brown butter chocolate chip walnut cookies with sea salt. So That's right cool. now, I actually am just working on the browned butter, which I'm going to be removing it from the heat um, and letting it cool down. And a lot of times what I'll do, because this is quite warm and I don't want to, I don't want it to brown too much. I don't want it to burn. I don't want it to be burnt butter. Um, I'm just going to pour it in to, ooh, it smells great. I'm just going to pour it into the bowl and let it cool from there. While that's happening, throw her in the fridge and we can talk about some of the other things that are going on with it. While that's in the fridge, kind of getting a little cool down, um, I just want to call out what we need for this cookie recipe. So this is really honestly just your basic bare bones cookie. I'm going to be using um, the little Nestle Toll House dark chocolate chips, which I feel like it's going to be very delicious. Um, and then chopped walnuts, a half a cup of brown sugar one third cup of granulated sugar, as well as one egg. In this bowl here, I have one cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of sea salt. So that's where I get my sea salt in. And then honestly, what I do is I just kind of like, you know, mix this in, I'll like use my little whisk and whisk it around just to make sure that I'm like mixing in my sea salt and my um, flour and just so everything's pretty evenly distributed. You can just use a whisk, you can use a fork. Um, there's so many ways to just kind of break up any clumps and mix everything around. Amazing. So, so I've already gone ahead and lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper so that'll be ready to go when i am um yeah so i feel like this is cooled down enough um if it's not you can always just wait a little longer but i'm gonna just you know get into it so basically what i'm going to do also we will be using vanilla extract i'm going to say i, I say this every time but i'm going to say use a half a teaspoon you know, let's go for it. So I'm going to add the half a cup of brown sugar. Basically, I'm gonna add my sugars, because I love it. I'm gonna add all the sugar, add it to this. Um, and then I'm also going to add my egg. And then I'm going to, so I'm just gonna be honest, normally when I do things Basically what I would do is I would take this and I would just be like, <laughs> but I'm gonna use this half. Um, so we have some accuracy for you guys. For you, my friends. Uh -huh. So now we're just gonna cream together these little guys. Um, you know, whisking it together. I like to get a nice little spin on that. Sometimes I tilt the bowl. But you see this color? This is literally because of the brown butter. So my brown butter got a little brown, not gonna even lie, but it still is going to taste so good. I freaking love it. When I tell you this is my favorite, it is 100% my favorite. And just scrape the sides, really getting in there. And now that this is all kind of like creamed together, oh, it's thick. We're going to add in our flour. So I always do this in parts. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll add in, typically I do like four parts. This will probably do like three parts. So one part, ooh, that was a big part. And I really just like to scrape the sides Get it all mixed in. Ooh, is this is some hard work. I could have used my bigger, um, I could have used my bigger whisk. One part, part two, slash, 
yeah, so I did this one actually in two parts. I'm just gonna go in, seems to be a little bit of flower stuck at the bottom. Just gonna go in and get that in there. Also, now that we're at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from the whisk. I'm going to switch from the whisk as I add in my, my bits. Um, so my dark chocolate, I'm going to add in to start probably like a half a cup of walnuts. I mean, a half a cup of chocolate chips. I may add more. I just don't want to go. So to start, I'm going to add in a half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm, if you can hear in the background, I'm making a mess. Let's get them in there. Yeah, it'll probably, it probably looks like we really want to go for, you know, really almost a whole cup because you don't want bare bones chocolate chip cookies unless you're into that and you're like, I just want a little. So we'll add those in. And then I'm going to add the walnuts in now just so I can kind of gauge where I'm at. The walnuts, I'm going to add a third of a cup of walnuts. So it's like a nice little bite. And these are chopped walnuts. I like chopped walnuts even though like the pieces are good. Pecans are also a great... Um, add in to like a chocolate chip brown butter cookie. So actually I'm almost doing two thirds. So this is quite a lot, quite a lot of goodness in here. It's gonna be really thick. And then I'm just gonna like zhuzh it around. Just zhuzh. You know, use your muscles. Look at that, yum. And just make sure you get the sides. Get all the goodness in there. Don't wanna miss anything. Amazing. Perfect. We're literally coming to a close. Like this is how easy this is. So I'm going to take my one tablespoon cup because that's what I, not cup, my one tablespoon measuring spoon because that's what I like to use. Um, and I am just going to like scoop a good healthy heaping. And I kind of like to roll it around in a little ball. You know, like, like so, um, and then just drop her, and then I'll do a little, a little pat, right? And then I'll just repeat this. So it's almost like using an ice cream scoop. That's how I think about it. I'm like, I'm scooping up some ice cream. That's what I'm doing. And the great thing about parchment paper is it actually has like, you know, the little grids. I don't always follow it, but it kind of helps me keep in mind, you know, to give everything some space. Gotta give things space, room to breathe, all of that good stuff. I'm just gonna tell you, if you really wanna take it to the next level, take those fresh hot cookies out of the oven and put some ice cream in between them. I am not an ice cream girl, so that's not what will be happening um, tonight, but it never hurts. I tell you, best ice cream sandwich you'll have. Nice, fresh, hot. I'll kind of shake them. Don't need the cookies to be perfect, just need them to taste good, right? I'm going to do six, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna do more. I love to share treats, so I'll probably actually take a few of these to work to share. But if you, you know, aren't sharing, <laughs> no sharing is caring. If for some reason you aren't sharing, um, and you just want to save some because you got a sweet tooth, I would say, you know, put a little cling film, a cling wrap over them. I sound like a little grandma. A little, put a little cling wrap over them. Um, and then with the cling wrap, you'll preserve them. This is... But yeah, cookies are the best. And I'm really glad that I could share this cookie recipe with you. Um, it 
like I said, is one of my favorites. It's actually a little bit more, but I don't want to squeeze her up there. I know they say don't eat cookie dough, but I might eat it. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe we can just scooch. Maybe we can just scooch this friend up a little and then we'll just scooch her to the side. It's a kindness. We're making room for all of the cookies to be. We've made space. Never hurts to make space for another for another human or another cookie. Little cookie has a home now. So this actually made nine cookies. Look guys, me and the math. The math is kicking my butt. It's actually 12 cookies, okay? Three by four is 12. So don't know where I got nine from. Excuse me. I'm gonna put these guys in the oven. I'm just gonna call out the oven is preheated, was preheated to 375. Um, so yeah, make sure you preheat your oven. 375, 350 if your oven gets really hot and just pay attention to them. It really only takes about 10 to 12 minutes. So I'll be back and here we go. This is the finished product. They look amazing. They smell so good. Um, I'm really, really excited to get into these. Um, all I did was take them out of the oven after the 12 minutes, I checked on them let them cool for a couple of minutes on the pan and then transfer them to the cooling rack. So I'm gonna get some oat milk. And we're gonna have a treat. Little cookie and milk. I'm not gonna get that much milk. <laughs> do I really drink that much milk and cookies? Um, but yeah, which one do I want? Mm, I'll go with this guy. Oh my gosh, so good. Do you dunk these? Can you even fit in this? Mmm. Wow. So good. Really, really good. The dark chocolate is amazing. Mmm. You know, I'm tasting little bits of the sea salt, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do a little, just while they're still kind of hot, Getting salt everywhere. But while they still have some warmth to them, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little. So I, I like that little salty bit that I just bit into. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little sea salt on them. And this is like the fun impromptu. Wow. Really good. Love it. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you, hmm, chocolate on my mouth. I hope you make the cookies. Bye.